Well, I, I thought I'd um, I thought I'd make uh, an antenna as someone very kindly gave me this uh, this extendable whip. Uh, it's just over a meter long. I had a little look on the internet and um, I found some 3D print files. This is a coil and a cap, and I printed them on the 3D printer. And this is what I've made. So there's the antenna. Inside here is a nut and a bolt, and the feeder comes from the KX2. Um, I wanted to. This is only half the antenna. This this bit here because it's the uh, the radio element. So I needed an earth. So I had a little look around, and this is a pipe clip, and this is a two millimeter banana plug. The hole inside very neatly fits the nut, and it leaves it just proud enough so that when you clip it. onto the um, the antenna it gives you an earth connection and I printed off a little winder and this is the counterpoise so this will just oops, plug in so there you go works quite well I've tried it with the analyzer and with the antenna pretty much all the way up I get 20 meters and as you reduce the length of the antenna the, the telescopic bit um, uh, you can get down, uh, well, sensibly with reasonable bit of bandwidth um, down into uh, um, uh, 21 megs. So a fun little project and um, I think this was just, I don't know where this came from, this is just a, a stand for it. I'm printing another one with the BNC on the bottom so that I can fit it directly into the radio and use this this connection here for the counterpoise and I'll, I'll, I'll do some videos uh, uh, with the thing on air but very pleased with that.